In this lesson, I want to talk about function graphs. Function graph is, is a window that you can draw a curve in it, and that curve affects on the comments or do something in the software. For example, as you saw in the previous lesson in the sweep tool, in its settings, in an object, <clears throat> in a scale and a rotation, we have a, a function graph. These are function graph that we can edit or draw a curve on it that uh, affect scale, affect rotation, or in a cap, in a curve. In the previous lesson, I will be ex I explained them in the previous lesson. In a curve, you draw a curve and affect the rounding. In this part, the function graph affect the scale. So the function graph is in anywhere in the software that we have, it's important. Okay, for example here, in this lesson, we do not concern what is the, its effect in software. Just we want to explain this window very easy. Okay, maximize that and explain that. So, as I said before, in this window, we can draw a curve that affects something in software. Okay, we have two axes, x-axis and y-axis. In the software, x-axis or y-axis uh, corresponding something in a software. For example, in a sweep, it's length and it is the radio dimensional uh, radius or diameter of something, for example. It's from 0 to 1, that corresponding, for example, 0 to 160, for example, length of the something. So, in this lesson, we want to just uh, look at the around and what's happening in software. Okay, you can click and drag the points like this and draw a curve for you. You can <clears throat> simply hold control and click and add a point here and with the tangents you can uh, change the tangent and draw a curve. You can simply hit delete and delete them from keyboard. This data, these uh, dot line are maximum you can click and drag it maximum and the minimum of the curve we have a lots of settings in the right click and we have here select a point you can click and holding click <clears throat> you can holding for example control and select two point or control a to select all point and simply you can move a curve like this, very interesting. Because of, when you right click, it's a move curve activate. If you deactivate that, you cannot uh, move all of the curve. So activate that to move the curve, like this. <clears throat> okay. For navigation in the window, you can scroll in the mouse, act like this. You can hold the Alt and with the uh, holding Alt and middle mouse button, you can pan, holding Alt and right click to uh, hold Alt <coughs> and hold and then hold right click and move left or right, up or down, act like this. If you, for example, uh, zoom like this, you can right click and frame all or select something and frame selected. Or, for example, frame minimum and maximum. If you want to snap this grid, as you can see, we have a lot of grid here. Right click and enable snap. The point snap to the grid. You can draw accurate modeling here. Right click, frame all. Okay, and link <coughs> here, start from here. When you select, when you select a point, right click and disable snap. We have an here position X and position Y. You can type any number or click and drag to change the position X and Y here. You can lock Y, you cannot move it up and down or lock X. You cannot move it left or right, just up and down, or you can lock both. 
<clears throat> we have an interpolation. Uh, first, going to right click and here. Uh, spline preset. We have prepared spline for drawing easily for you. We have a linear. We have a square. We have a cubic. We have a root. <clears throat> inverse and sine way this is sine way and the cosine way and the interesting part is custom you can type any formula the mathematical formula for your care and here you can control how many control point means this point your curve has okay Going back and uh, like it linear, we control click and as you can see, we have a hard edge here. <clears throat> click a point here in the interpolation, you can change in the interpolation of the line. This is linear, this is spline. This interpolation affects the point, for example, the effect after the point that you selected. For example, here you can, you want to linear or spline it interpolation you can here for example cubic that the most uh, the best is spline that because you uh, the give it gives you the hand tangent handle to change it okay you can change length everything that's right. so interpolation affect the point after the, the after the point that's selected you can load any preset that you want and download it and use your preset or save your preset name it and just okay here we have a tangent for example in this point we have a tangent and you can see you can tangent left right and change the position like here brick tangent if you hold and shift and click and drag sorry and tick that why is that not No. Oh, sorry, because the keep visual angle is turned on. We turn it off for now. Turn off everything. You can simply hold and shift and break the tangent. This is the angle here. If you keep the visual, the break tangent will be automatic. If you keep the visual angle, as you can see, this angle will be locked and you can rotate it as you want. You cannot make it, you cannot reduce the angle, but you cannot, you can increase that, as you can see. Okay, turn it off. You can lock lengths. As you can see, we cannot change the length, just cannot rotation, or you can lock the angle. As you can see, this angle is here locked and you just can't change the length here. Okay. These are point here and going to the right click option. Uh, link <coughs> and tangent. Right click and uh, insert a sine way here. As you can see, if we change the tangent of this ending, if you want uh, this uh, sine way effect when you change the tangent of a start and end both together, you have to right click and link and tangent as you can see if you change it the beginning of the sine wave the end of it will be changed together it's important <clears throat> link and position if you link that you can position the y-axis linked here because of uh, when you for example right click and Mm. you can simply you can uh, for example we need this these options for turning for these are disabled now we have to control a to select all point and now they're active and you can double it link for example we link the end tangent in here like this and you can change it 
Okay, Control Z, Control A, or you can flip it in horizontal or flip vertical or make it symmetry like this. Okay, we have a lots of point here. Soft is in, is out in a point type or unify. Okay. For example, I want to tell you unify. What is unify here? If you want to, for example, here we uh, break a tangent and... Oh, sorry. I control A, everything. <clears throat> we have a different length. We are not in the tangent mode. We have a different angle. You can right click and point up and unify that. When you unify that, we have a, a straight line and with a equal length. This is unify. You can change it, but any time you can turn it back to the unify. Okay, going back to the presets, linear, I want to tell you about point type. The point type, soft. Make it like this, affect after that point. Ctrl Z. Easy in or easy out. Easy in means, um, as you can see here, easy in, for example, change it to the easy out. As you can see here, in easy out, uh, easy out is uh, when we are uh, going out of the point it's make it tangent and smooth when we uh, going out of the point and easy in for example we change the interpolation to linear easy in means uh, make it a smooth and a straight line when we enter a point easy in means that easy in as you can see it's make it straight and tangent for us another is uh, is is for is is for um, changing it easy in and easy out for the point and zero length and the angle make it like this and the unify make it for example we have a spline here make it zero you can first easy ease to make it back and change it every time and you can unify that again. Okay. Set, for example, we have a point here. You can set it to maximum or you can snap it to the minimum like that. And we have not anything more here. You can, if you you want, you can reset that or select one or I explain everything here. You can zero X tangent or zero Y tangent. Simply click that and right click is is. And we have a tangent here. You can zero uh, X tangent or zero Y tangent like that. to straight a line in a vertical or horizontal position. Okay, in a scene graph, so that you can easily draw your curve that affects something in some comment in the Cinema 40. This is function graph. For example, using a scale, using rotation, or using a cap. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.